Hi everyone, welcome back to another book video. I'm so excited for today because I've been trying to come up with like a new creative book video for a while that I would actually feel good putting out and like wouldn't stress me out because I've been stressing myself out with like school and books and videos and everything recently. So I was like, what's something fun, creative, new, but still has to do with books that won't stress me out. And then I was like thinking back to the glory days of YouTube when like favorites videos and challenges and tags were really popular. And then I was like, damn, I wish I was a YouTuber back in those days. Like that sounds really fun to just like do a challenge video with your friend or like answer questions in a tag and I was like why don't I just make a tag no one else has to do it really it could just be for me but like if they want to do it they can if you want to do it yourself in the comments or if you have a channel you should do it or you should tag people that you want to see do it but basically I'm just asking myself questions about books and then giving recommendations so it's like a book recommendation tag you'll see as I go so I'll put all the questions in the description box so if you want to answer them you can I have all the books stacked in front of me and I'm very excited to answer these questions for my very own book recommendation tag <laughs> first question being what book do you tell people is your favorite book when they ask you in public so if someone found out that you read and they're like what's your favorite book and you're not very close to them what book would you say because i would say the song of achilles by madeline miller because this is one of my favorite books and i also feel like if someone in public were to ask me i would sound not that i would sound smart but i would sound like when i tell people i've read this they're like oh greek mythology retelling like i don't know i just like telling people this is my favorite book i mean it is my favorite book but it's one of and this is definitely the one i tell people the most but most likely if you come up to me on the street and we're like what's your favorite book i would say the song of achilles leading into the next question what is a book you would never admit is one of your favorites it's like your guilty pleasure read i mean i've admitted it obviously because my whole channel is recommending books but <laughs> completely switching gears birthday girl by penelope douglas this book is forbidden age gap romance where she starts dating her ex-boyfriend's dad so if a random stranger on the street asked me my favorite book, I probably would not tell them this one. I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but it's definitely a guilty pleasure. And I think about it pretty often. <laughs> Next question is a book that everyone loved, but you didn't. I have three. These are books I feel really left out on because everyone loves them and I don't like them at all. No hate if you love them because everyone loves them but me. I'm the odd one out. But Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy, and Flock, the whole trilogy by Kate Stewart. I read all of them. All the way through did not continue with the series with this one i didn't hate this one but a lot of it didn't sit right with me and i didn't love it and flock i did not enjoy at all even though i read the whole series i wish i dnf'd it because i wasted so much time trying to force myself to like it instead of just accepting the fact that i didn't like it so yeah those are three books that were not for me but i respect if they were for you because they're popular they're popular for a reason next is a book that you read the fastest so this is like you were so enthralled that you read it in one sitting or like you read it really quickly i have a few books i've read in one sitting but i did the one i read the most recently the right move by liz tom ford everyone go read this book it's part of a series which i do still recommend the book before this but i loved this one even more and i read it in one sitting even though it's really long but i wanted it to be longer it's fake dating trope one of us is famous sports romance forced proximity best friend's brother and that sounds really tropey and i usually don't love like very tropey books but it wasn't in the way where you could tell it was like written for tropes it just like they all fell into place so perfectly the boy in this book and the love languages in this book and the way they showed that they loved each other was just so so good that I couldn't put it down and I read it in one sitting and I can't wait to talk more about this in my monthly reading wrap up. Next is a book you feel like you don't talk about enough or like deserves more hype. I have two. First, Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Trigger warning before you read this book. This is very like heavy and dark and sad but I feel like I don't talk about it enough because like I never feel like it's right to recommend in like a cutesy romance video because it's so heavy and dark that it's not just like oh sports romance because I thought it was a sports romance going in. It's very, very good. If you want a sad one, I'd read this. I still need to read the rest of the series. I've been putting it off. I don't know why, but I need to because I don't talk about this one enough. Same with A Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. I know it has hype, but it needs more because it is enemies kind of, they're not like hateful enemies, but they don't get along at first. I had butterflies when I was reading it and that's what I love in books is when I literally feel all the butterflies and I did feel that for a lot of this book. Definitely Grumpy Sunshine. He works for her dad and there's a whole sad element in this book with her dad. It's just really, really good. Next question, a book you love that has become a movie or TV show so if it's been adapted a lot of books that I love this has happened to but I'm really excited because Daisy Jones and the Six is becoming a TV show and it comes out in like less than a month and all the teasers we've gotten look so good I don't think I've ever been more excited for an adaptation in my entire life it just looks incredible and this is one of my favorite books so I can't wait to see it most of the time I'm really apprehensive when a book gets adapted because they don't do it justice but I'm very excited for this one next is the book you've reread the most I'm between two on this one I 
think I might have reread Normal People the most, but I've also reread Hot House Flower. This is the fifth book in the Addicted Callaway Sister series. Five plus times each, and that sounds crazy. This is like my comfort book. This one is like kind of relatable. Like I connected to this book so much, and that's why I enjoy rereading it. I also connected to this one a lot. So yeah, it's one of these two. Next is a book you loved from a genre you don't typically read. You guys know I loved this book, Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. This is a memoir. I typically read fiction, romance, but this was my favorite book of last year. It's a memoir that follows her from when she's like 13 to 30, all the trials and tribulations of growing up, and it is just so relatable, and she goes through all of like the stages of coming of age, and you get to watch it and experience it with her, and it's everything she learned from her experience, and it's just written so well, and I loved how the moral of the story, even though it was all about like love and sex and dating for a lot of it, the entire moral of the story was everything she knew about love she learned through her friendship with women and that was just so powerful to me and I loved it so much and I love this book even though it's not typically a genre I love. Next is a book that you think deserves the hype it has, so like a popular book that you think deserves it. I'm going with the Boys of Tommen series. It's still being published, there's only three out and it's already incredible. I'm literally reading this one right now, it just came out two days ago. <laughs> this book is like currently getting the hype as it should. Look up trigger warnings though because it's very heavy again, dark themes but the romance and the friendship and the found family is just everything I love in a book and it was written I think in like I think these were written in like 2018 so it was like before things became very tropey it's very like character driven with a plot and it's not all about the romance and if you like the addicted series you'll love this and I think it deserves all the hype in the world and I love it so much okay going down they're heavy and long <laughs> next is the book you recommend when people ask you for a recommendation <laughs> I thought of this because like when my friends in real life ask me for recommendations I always feel so put on the spot I'm like oh what do you like to read there's so many options so usually I'll start with that if they're not like looking for romance I'll just give them like a Taylor Jenkins read recommendation so like Malibu Rising Daisy Jones Seven Husbands One True Loves like one of those is a classic but if they are a romance reader I go with like an easy quick fun read read so Archer's Voice, Red White and Royal Blue, or Beach Read. I feel like all of these are good in a way for like for people that aren't like obsessed with reading um they just like to pick up a book here and then I feel like these are pretty good recommendations for like romance. Next is a book with your favorite character or characters. In my case I'm doing the Addicted Callaway Sisters series. This book is from all of their perspectives. The core six. I love the whole core eight but you know what it's fine. The characters in this book are just my absolute favorite. You know this. I don't even have to say anything. I mean this series is 10 books plus two, 12 and then there's a spinoff with like 13 books and it's still being published thank god because I love it so much but these characters just mean everything to me and I love them so much and it's like they're my real friends and I literally think about them every day even though I read these books in 2019. And then similarly to that, I'm cheating a little bit because the next question is a book that you wish you could live in. And then I'm choosing the spinoff, the Like Us series. This is Damaged Like Us. I wish I could just live in the Addicted universe. I wish I was part of the family or at least a friend. I just love it so much. So this is the spinoff to Addicted. If I could live in any of these. Cheating a little bit, but not really because it's a different series. Okay, next question is a book you thought you would hate, but you ended up loving. I didn't think I was gonna hate this one, but my friend told me the trope and it was cheating trope or there was a cheating trope in it. I was like, I'm gonna hate that. And she's like, yeah, it's such a toxic couple. I was like, I'm gonna hate that. I ended up loving it. It was Magnolia Parks, but it's just so entertaining. You guys know I talk about it all the time. I don't love it for the romance. I love it for the pure entertainment aspect. I thought I wasn't gonna like it. And then I ended up being completely enthralled and couldn't put it down and read the whole series, so. We're already almost at the end, okay. Next is a book that made you cry. I have a lot of these. I cry in a lot of books, but one of them that I remember specifically hyperventilating, bawling my eyes out, that deserves more hype is Bright Side by Kim Holden. I can't even tell you what this book is about, but I just bawled my eyes out and I cried and no one talks about it, so I wanna talk about it more so that people actually read it and cry with me. And question number 15, the final question, is a book you wish you could read for the first time? This was hard for me because there's so many books that I thought of that I wanted to say. I was gonna say After by Anna Todd because I read that on Wattpad when I was in the middle school and I remember the absolute roller coaster of emotions I felt at like the prime age of 12 when I was reading that book, but I didn't pick that. I picked Love in Other Words by Christine Christina Lauren because I read this in one sitting two years ago. I remember it so vividly because it was I was supposed to go to the beach that day and I was so into this book. I kept putting off leaving my house, kept putting off leaving my house and I looked up and it was pitch black outside and I was like oh my god I've been reading for like five hours and I finished the whole thing. Such a great feeling, such a good book and the way I felt throughout this book like the different emotions and like the ending and like finding out everything that happened. Crazy. This book is past and present perspective of childhood friends to lovers. I really really like it and I really recommend it and I didn't not expect the end like the whole plot twist or was it even a plot twist I don't know but I just remember the feeling I had when I first read it so good but yeah that is all of the books for this book tag already that was 15 questions
questions. I thought that was gonna be too many, but now I feel like this was really quick. But it's kind of rapid fire. Rapid fire recommendations, rapid fire questions. No need to ramble. I really hope you guys answer the questions as well. Participate in the book tag. I say we bring back challenge videos and tags. With all that being said, that's the end of today's video. If you wanna see more videos like this, cause this was fun, maybe I could do a different version, kind of like questions about books rather than book recommendations. Let me know because I'll do that as well. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.